Ah, yes. You hear that sound? That is the delicious taste of non-alcoholic athletic brewing. If you're looking for a change or you're sober curious, check out Athletic Brewing. Go to willcoca.com slash athletic brewing. Use code WILLC20 and get 20% off your next purchase. Welcome, everybody, to the Will Coco Podcast. This is a, another five-minute Friday. It's a special one because it has one of my favorite people on Earth on it. I am doing this thing now where I'm asking some folks that I really admire, friends that I have that are doing great things to be on this podcast and share their insights on maybe some of the lessons they've learned in their career pursuing what they love. Consistency is key. That's the topic today. Now, consistency is not to be mistaken with perfection. I know sometimes it can be, but those are two very different subjects. Consistency means the repetition of doing something over and over again. The result has nothing to do with it. I have a special guest today. His name is Jay Denorio. I've known him since I was a tiny kid. Fun fact, he's the guy that taught me how to ride a bike without training wheels. Pretty amazing. He's an accomplished photographer, videographer based out of Mexico. And when I asked him to share a little bit about his thoughts on consistency, he was more than gracious to share not only the positive things of consistency, but his struggles with staying consistent. Take a listen. So I think I can talk more about the importance of consistency in my life from the lack of it I've had. I mean, the truth is that if I had been a little more consistent in the things that I've wanted to accomplish or the things that I, I've needed to, to accomplish in my life, I think I would be a lot further or I, I'd be in a different place for sure. The truth is that, yeah, I think I've been more inconsistent. But I can tell you that in the things that I have been consistent in, it has definitely been the key to any success I've had. It hadn't been for. Um, sleepless nights, uh, swimming against the current, um, I would definitely not be where I'm at and I would definitely not be doing what I'm doing today. Being consistent is definitely one of the most important attitudes that you can have. And I think attitudes is a choice. And that choice is not always pretty. It's not linear, that's for sure. The ups and downs, the ebbs and flows, we learn sometimes more from the failures and the successes. But I also think you have to protect that time, that time that you spend doing the work. And you find your tribe and you find people that speak the same language as you and you tune out the other stuff. Listen to what Jay says about this. Everyone should have a small group of people that you can acknowledge what they're telling you and maybe take their advice, but only that small group. Because everybody else is doing their own thing. Everybody's just um, minding for themselves. And it's easy to just say, hey, why is he doing that? Or why would I would never do that, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that's the hardest part. And that's when you feel the pressure. And when you maybe want to give up, you push through. It, you turn back and it, it just all makes sense. And it's easy to appreciate, I guess why you stuck through it so the long game depends on your short game right it's how you consistently show up and the mentality you have about doing the process about trusting it there's beauty in the breakdown as well i think for me a lot of the times that i've learned the most is when i failed at wanting to do something that i am so passionate about you go back to the drawing board and you figure it out but you always show up that is consistency. A special thanks to our guest, Jay Tenorio, for being on the podcast today. Go check him out at jaytenorio.com. Also, Jay Tenorio on all his social medias. Thanks for listening, folks. That's been another 5-Minute Friday. And as always, we will catch you next week.